All right, now that we've gone ahead and patched our fixtures in, it's time to add them to our 2D plan view. Now, this is optional, but I think it helps you really get to know the console and be able to find things quickly when we can see them in 2D. Plus, it works well for these videos. So, go here to the 2D plan. We press Live to pop into edit mode. And then we simply go over here and press Add. We can then go ahead. We'll go over here. It says Fixtures, Combined Fixtures, Groups, and Objects. And so, we have to select some fixtures first. We'll pop out our fixture center here on the side. We can go over to the auto groups or the standard fixtures. I'm going to go to the auto groups and I'm going to select my channels. Perfect. Now when I press add, I've got 24 fixtures selected. It shows me that right here at the bottom. For add mode, I'm going to choose this one, which adds them along on a line. You can add them individually as well or use one of these other options to add them in a circle, on a squiggly line, or via a matrix. Now I'll hit Place Fixtures, and I will click and drag. Whoop. There's not quite enough room, but if I go off the screen here, I have enough room. I can then zoom out just using my scroll wheel, or by using the zoom control here on the side. I'm going to press Options to hide that as well. Perfect. All right, so now we've got those. They're in the 2D plan. Let's add some more. So now we'll go ahead, back to the fixture center, deselect and select the Artiste Picassos. Pop that back in, press add. Boom, 10 fixtures, add mode line. Actually, this time I'm gonna use the single just to show you a couple quick things. Press place fixtures. Now I'm gonna place them all. As you can see, I'm kind of making a mess of this, but that's okay because they've built into this software a way to align them. So I'm just going to click and drag to highlight them. Alternatively, I could select them inside the console or click them individually. And I'm going to go up here to align. Now I can just go ahead. Let's uh, spread them evenly from side horizontally. And then we'll align them all with the uh, bottom most fixture. And now we can see it's much more orderly than I'd originally made it. Perfect. Now we're going to add some groups. Groups inside Onyx allow you to quickly select groups of fixtures and be able to work with them. They're really helpful in the 2D plan as well. So we'll press Add. We'll go to Groups. Now we can go over here to the Auto Groups because that's all we have right now. Select these two. Select the Add mode. Place Groups. Just go here in the bottom. And add them in. It's that simple. Perfect. There's a number of other functions that you can do inside the 2D plan, and you can check them out either through the Obsidian uh, Onyx video tutorials, the official ones, or via the tutorials available inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs, which is my premium training. At this point, we've got our 2D plan pretty set up, so we can come out of edit mode by clicking edit, and now we're in a live mode. So now we're seeing in 2D what actually happens on the stage, and we see the selections that we have selected as well. Perfect. Now, as I mentioned before, if you are new to this and you want some more depth, inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs, I've actually got what is right now a brand new action plan called Onyx for the Complete Newbie. So if you're brand new to this software and, and you want a set of video tutorials with checklists that goes into deep detail about how to use all these various functions that we're talking about, you can get that inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. And so I'm going to pop up a little bit of info about Learn Stage Lighting Labs here so that you can learn more and uh, possibly join us if that's something you're interested in. Then in our next video here on YouTube, we're going to go into groups and I'm going to show you how to record those groups so that we can get start building some cool scenes with our lights.